10 key life lessons you'll get from traveling. Trust your gut. When traveling, you'll find yourself in lots of different situations that you just don't know what to do. You gotta trust your instincts. You gotta trust your gut. The answer is inside of you. All those different values and things that you've built yourself upon, they'll come out. And that's your true colors. And that's what you really gotta trust. If it scares you, you should probably do it. So you gotta take this with a grain of salt. Often, the things that scare you the most will yield the highest rewards. For example, if something really bothers you, you don't like it, you don't want to do it, and you're really resisting it, if you go ahead and do it, that's what gives you that personal growth. You know, that's what develops your character more than anything else, is by doing the thing that scares you, overcoming your demons, you know, rising up to the challenge. That's the message that I'm trying to say here. Failing and making mistakes is the fastest way to learn. When life is easy and things are going completely to plan, you don't actually get an opportunity to learn a lot. But it's when you're faced with adversity and challenges that you really test yourself and you have a chance to learn. So the message that we're trying to convey is don't be afraid of failure. Don't be afraid of mistakes. It happens in life. It happens to everyone. It's what you do with those lessons and mistakes and move forward which really defines you as a human being. So. What you need to do is just remain positive in a bad situation, learn from exactly what went wrong or what happened, and go forward with it. Don't look back, just learn that lesson and take that into your life and take that into your travel. Talking to strangers isn't always a bad thing. As much as you were told not to talk to strangers as a child, as an adult, as a traveler, this is the key to happiness, man. The more you can talk and embrace socializing, the more you'll learn about different people. You can learn something from everyone. Even people you think you might be better than them, you, you think you might know more, you think uh, you might have more knowledge or power than someone. It's really not the case. A lot of the people that have very, very little in the world have some of the most humbling things to say about the world. They're also the ones that can teach you the most about the world. Don't be afraid to talk to strangers, especially in the world of travel. Transient relationships can be incredibly meaningful. So what do I mean by a transient relationship? Like a very short interaction with somebody who you just meet, you know, off the streets, a stranger, whatever, and the next day, the next week, whatever, they're out of your lives again, possibly to never see again. That interaction that you had with them can be an extremely powerful one and can actually have a really, really strong message that you learn from. For example, I've met people, and I'm pretty sure the other guys can say the same thing, where you just kinda, you see them, you meet them, you hang out for an hour or two, and you have a really cool, in-depth talk about whatever it is that you're talking about. You know, where they're from, what their culture's like, what their life is like, what they're doing here, why I'm here, and how these two things, how we've crossed paths. This could have been five years ago, and I still remember this conversation that I had with this person. I remember the feeling that I had while I chatted with this person. It was an important interaction with them, even though they lasted for two hours of my life. It's something that I will remember because I learned a lot from that person so what I'm just I, what I'm trying to say is that even with these short interactions with new people and stuff don't brush them off as nothing there's off, often a lesson to be learned from them and it's up to you to figure out what that lesson is about the world, the less you realize you actually know. Before I actually started going traveling and really venturing out into the world outside of the own comfort of Canada and Vancouver, BC, where I'm from, I thought I knew a lot about the world, just through school, textbooks, looking at pictures, anything on the internet. But it wasn't until I started traveling and introducing new cultures, new experiences into my life, until I realized 
I don't know anything. I am used to a certain way of life and a certain lifestyle that I'm comfortable with. But after learning and experiencing and visiting all these places, you realize there's so many different ways of life and so many different knowledge and lifestyles and community and culture that I had no idea existed. So I brought it back home and I realized I just had to get back out there and learn more. Go to a new place. So in my own experience, when I left my comfort of my home, I knew what I knew and I thought I knew, you know, a little bit less about the world. However, as soon as I went into the world and started traveling, I fully started understanding what I didn't actually know. And then I understand there is so much I didn't know about what I didn't know. You still listening? Basically what I'm gonna have to take from this, as soon as you have yourself out in the world, you start realizing how many different ways of life and how many things uh, with different cultures in the environment that you have no idea about and you can't learn from a textbook or just sitting in a computer at home. Everyone knows that traveling is a great way to learn, but it's until you get out there that you really realize that the extent of stuff there is to learn and what you don't know is fascinating. That is one thing that drives me just to get out there and actually learn more things, but also understand that there's nothing, there's infinite things out there that I probably won't learn, but that's why travel is attractive to me. You can't control everything. A lot of the time, things don't go your way. They don't go as plans. But when you let go of that, that need to always be in control, you'll find the key to freedom. And that's really afforded through traveling. When something happens to you and you might inherently think it's negative, that might be your control of the situation. Your anxiety is telling you that it must be negative. But when in fact, it may not be. It might be there to teach you something. It might be there to afford something else that's newer and bigger and more positive for you. Just understand that letting go of your control over situations and your desire to have things in a certain way, it's really important to being happy. We are all fundamentally the same. So yes, we may come from a different place, we may speak a different language, we believe in different things and different gods, whatever it may be, we're still humans on this earth. And we have to abide by the laws given to us on this earth. You know, the Maslow's hierarchy of needs. We have specific things that we need in order to live, in order to survive. And because we're all human, we're all built up of the same atoms, the same materials, molecules, whatever. But everybody feels the same emotions. Everybody smiles the same, you know, it means the same thing when you smile. And it's by traveling and by meeting so many different people that you really get to see this in so many different aspects and different avenues. So many people automatically judge somebody else just based on looking at them, based on their situation and their scenario where they are. But once you start to interact with them, and once you can communicate a little bit, you see past that. You see their being, you see who they really are. And very often you kind of realize that you two aren't so different. That's kind of what you're like. You react in the same ways, you have the same feelings, maybe you have the same thoughts on different things. The only real difference is what you initially saw by looking at them, which is what their scenario is, which is not enough to judge anything. It's by getting to know somebody or interacting with them that you truly understand what they're like and how that's really not that different from what you're like. We are all fundamentally the same people. We're the same thing, just in different settings, just in a different situation. There's no need to hate on anybody. There's no need to, to look coldly at someone. It's all about the love thing. We're all the same. We all love. We like to be love. We like to share love, give love. And as soon as we can realize that as a whole, this world will be a much better place. Live in the present moment. Through my own experiences, traveling with my friends or by myself, what I get to take away, or actually leave behind, is all my struggles and stuff that's really stressing me out back at home. For anyone, it could be a job, a relationship, or any problem. But when you take your core being to another beautiful place in the world, you just leave all that behind you and you're able to live in the present moment and really be who you want to be and have the experiences you want to have experience. It doesn't always have to be when you're on the road traveling though, you have to be able to take a lesson and a page out of this book for when you're at home. Just, you get caught up sometimes in all the hustle and bustle with life and all the problems that it presents to you, no matter who you are, and you forget to realize and just live in the moment that you have a beautiful person, you live in a beautiful environment, and you just need to take a step back and kind of remember that 
all the stuff that in your life that's bothering you can just be pushed aside for a second and just be in the present moment and enjoy something in your hometown, in your environment, in your culture, with your friends or anything. You don't have to be on the road for that. You can just be one with your surroundings and leave everything on the side for a while before you go back to reality. Nothing can substitute experience. You've probably heard this before, but I'm gonna repeat it. You can watch as many movies or as many videos as you want on a subject. You can read as many books as you want and you can study hard and you can memorize and you can learn everything that's thrown at you, but it still doesn't compare to living it, being in the moment and experiencing it. For example, you can read everything there is to know about rock climbing, but once you're on the mountain and you look down and you feel the grip on your fingers and you feel everything that you're feeling, the weight of your own body, you can't substitute that. That is a very unique experience. And although, sure, it's good to read up on things and to do your study and your research, what I'm trying to say is you've got to live it to truly experience it. You can only get so much from reading about it or watching about it. Go out there and do it. That's the lesson. That's the message that I'm giving you. Go out there and do it. So many people keep on putting things off until later and later and later and never actually get to have the experience they want to have. For example, you're in high school and you want to go traveling, but you always plan to do it after high school. And then graduation comes and you're already going to university and you're saying, well, I'll make that trip or have this life experience after that. But then you get into a relationship or you buy a car and you can't afford it and you're always putting off these really great things that you planned years ago and you don't actually get to do them. What I'm trying to say here and trying to convey is Live in the moment. Live for now, not for later. If you have an opportunity, sometimes you just gotta go and take it. Anyways guys, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, click like, share with your friends, and if we missed anything, leave a comment below. And always, if it's your first time on the channel, please subscribe. I'm out. Boom. That's a hot seat. <laughs> <laughs> That's a hot Anybody have to have that?